All right, friends. My plan of attack was to go to BJ's, which I did, and go to Trader Joe's. I did not do that. This uh, nice, peaceful, quiet angel baby back there right now was not the nice, sweet, quiet angel baby in BJ's. All you uh, parents that go grocery shopping independently with your children, you know how uh, sometimes they are the best little people and sometimes they are straight demon children and you don't know where they came from. I had that one this morning. She took a container of cookies right off the shelf in the bakery and threw them on the ground. Made a scene, was screaming. It, 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 it was a long grocery shopping, but that's okay because we got at least one store done. Uh, we're gonna drop her off with my mom tomorrow. So maybe Nick and I will go on a date to Trader Joe's, but. Let me get her and all these groceries inside and I will show you what I got. How was sweeping with dad, young man? Was it good? Young man. Most important, got myself my stories. All right, I guess we'll start with the paper products. We needed toilet paper. I like Scott, so that's what we got. And it happened to be on sale, which was exciting. Just get the BJ's brand of uh, paper towels. We only had one left, so needed to get those. Laundry pods, um, 132 of them. They changed the container on me. I was in this aisle for far too long looking for this product. Two big packs of diapers. Girlfriend is up to size six now, um, 120 in each. I had a coupon for 10 off if you got two Pampers products, so I just figured I would grab two diapers because we just went up to size six, so we definitely will be in it for a little bit. And then the only other non-food item that we got were these Febreze plugins. I really like them. They make the house not smell like it has poopy diapers in it at some place. <laughs> and food, let's start with the food over here. I got a, two bags of the cheddar cheese, two bags of mozzarella cheese, both the shredded kind, uh, everything bagels and plain bagels, a two pack of oat nut whole grain uh, toast, bread, bananas, the dang, the bananas were supposed to be uh, a sale item, but I forgot to get the thing that made it a sale item. But we eat bananas like they're going out of style. So, bananas. This caught my eye. Sounded good. Peanut butter cup trail mix. And I just looked over at my husband's face. He's pretty excited for that as well. Some ground turkey and some chicken breasts. Milk for the fam. We only had one thing of butter, so I decided to pick up a big old pack there. These strawberries looked pretty good, and since this was really the only fruit I got that's ready to eat, since those bananas are real green, I know we'll fly through this. Provolone cheese and turkey for sandwiches. Pot pies, I wanna put those in the freezer for just easy nights when Amelia's being crazy pants and I'm alone. <laughs> um, same kind of deal, these chicken melt sandwiches. I've had them before, they're really good, super easy. Throw it with some veggies or some fruit. Amelia and I will totally enjoy that. The BJ's Ready Meals or whatever they call them were on sale this week, so I got the chicken Alfredo. I'm going to heat up some broccoli to go with it for an easy dinner. We don't have any jarred tomato sauce, which is pretty unusual for us. Um, Nick wanted to make something, but we didn't have the sauce. So wanted to get a big pack of those as well. Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee. He has a blueberry that he still needs to work through first, but there's no way we won't buy one of these. So figured I would grab the big one because that made the muffins that I wanted to get 
free. They do that sometimes where you buy a random product and they'll give you a random product for free. And that was it. I feel like this was so much work to gather today, but that's okay. This is uh, part one of the haul and I think tomorrow we'll have to go back out. All right, so uh, it's the next day. I already put BJ's away, that was yesterday. Nick and I went out for lunch and we went to Trader Joe's and we also went to a local farm stand. So I am going to show you everything that we got from Trader Joe's because I already have that set up and then I will show you those goodies. All right, kind of a quick overview, if you will, of the whole table. Some frosted shredded wheat. I don't know, I've been really wanting cereal in the morning, so that just sounded good. Their green salsa is delicious. We got some blue corn tortilla chips to go with it. Nick wanted to try these two seasonings, the barbecue and the 21 seasoning salute. He also wanted to get this, uh, how do you say this? Gochujang? Yeah, gochujang. Um, red pepper paste. I'm not sure what he's planning on using that for, but. And then I found some dark chocolate covered honey grams with sea salt, which sounds outrageously good to me. And then I'm thinking these are the Trader Joe's like tagalongs, like they're like version of the tagalongs, like the Girl Scout cookies. So I'm hoping those are really good because I love those cookies. Yellow um, Thai curry sauce, just to have and put on chicken or make a whole bunch of veggies and put over rice, just to, just to have in the pantry for an easier dinner. These, um cheese filled crepes just sounded really good there'd be enough for all of us to have a breakfast out of it with some fruit in it nick wanted to try these uh steak pies the last time we were there and he talked himself out of it but i guess he's been thinking about it since so those went in the wagon this time some fettuccine alfredo just an easy quick meal for myself and the Disney Disney dork that I am, it is food and wine right now in Epcot. And every YouTuber that I have watched um, has been talking about the Brazilian che che cheese bread. So I wanted to at least try Trader Joe's version of it to pretend I'm at Disney. The butter chicken with the rice. We get at least one of the Thai recipes. Um or Indian recipes, the curries each time that we go. We love them, we like them all actually. Beef and broccoli, quick easy meal for Nick. Just throw some rice together with it. Nick really likes these uh, Chinese style pork buns. He's gotten them the last few times we've gone. And I couldn't even believe it. I didn't know you could buy these from the grocery store. Chocolate lava cakes, I love those my favorite and i know i already said uh the tortilla chips then we found some carolina gold barbecue potato chips and then these peanut butter puffed corn snacks for amelia she loves those and there's a little bit more protein than just a normal snacky like a corn snack so that's good go back over here we've got some produce the tiny potatoes, um, red, yellow, and orange peppers. These peaches smell so good. I couldn't leave them behind. They smell so good. I cannot wait to eat those. Nick wanted to try their pickles. So we got the fresh pickles there. Oh, I think I missed this frozen. The green onion pancakes. And then I found this bag of veggies that sounded good. It has zucchini, broccoli, peas, and green beans, and chicken mini wontons. And I don't know if I even said the tempura shrimp. I'm slacking, I'm slacking today. Uh, 
sweet corn and basil ravioli. It just sounded, oh, and the burrata too, sounded interesting. So we want to try that. I thought this would be a super refreshing, easy dinner for myself with the noodles and the veggies in there for some night this week. Uh, green onions just for topping, adding a little more flavor to stuff. I had never heard of these grapes, so wanted to try them. They just looked really, really good. So, grapes, uh, Colby Jack cheese sticks, two bricks of cream cheese, because I wasn't able to get those at BJ's when we got those bagels, and then raspberry and lemon yogurt, and then vanilla and blueberry yogurt. And then last time we got this, the lemonade, oh my goodness delicious so good and we tried the chicken thighs the shawarma chicken thighs on a previous trip so we wanted to also try another one of their marinated chickens but this one was fabulous so I'm gonna put all this stuff up now and I will uh, get the farm stand bag out all right and then this is the farm stand stuff that we grabbed some zucchini and a summer squash, asparagus, some multicolored carrots. I thought that might be fun with Amelia. Nick wanted some bok choy to go in his ramen. A strawberry dip spread, whatever they call it. I thought that would be good on my plain bagels. And then some chicken salad just for eating like for lunches some big old tortillas these things are massive so big old pack of those probably freeze half of them use half of them this week well maybe not all of them this week but uh four ears of corn this red dragon cheese is one of nick's favorites and then a jalapeno cheddar bagel for nick or a four pack of those another one of his favorites flowers because they just make me happy and they look really pretty and then we thought these were interesting sounding a blueberry white chocolate chip cookie so this is our whole haul we got everything now I still have to put the chips away but everything else is completely put away and I just need to put this stuff up now all right, friends, and that is the whole haul. I'm very excited that uh, it's up. I will have it in the title or in the description of how much this craziness cost us. But thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye-bye. Hey, friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad that you tuned in. Amelia and I are off to restock our house. I've been putting off this big grocery haul for several weeks at this point but I need need a lot of stuff so I just need to bite the bullet and go do it so we're off to the store 8 30 on a Saturday